To install and set up your Google TV streamer, 4K, first make sure that you have all of the parts that were included in the box. The Google TV streamer, power adapter and USB cable, voice remote, and two AAA batteries. You will also need an HDMI 2.1 cable, which is sold separately, a Google account, the Google Home app, and a Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. First, put the batteries in your remote. Next, connect the device to the USB cable and power adapter and plug into a socket. Then, connect the device to your TV using the HDMI 2.1 cable. On your TV, switch to the HDMI input that you plugged the device into. On the TV screen, you will see a prompt to start pairing your remote. To begin pairing, on your remote, Press and hold the back and home buttons at the same time until you see a pulsing light. When the connection is confirmed, you can continue setup with your voice remote. To select your options, use the navigate and select buttons. Select your language. Now, it's time to set up your Google TV streamer in the Google Home app on your phone or tablet. If you don't have a Google account, go to accounts.google.com. To set up your account, tap Create Account and follow the on-screen steps. If you don't have the Google Home app, download it from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Open the Google Home app. Tap Devices. Tap the Add Device button. Tap Google Nest or Partner Device. Select your home. When prompted to connect to your Google TV streamer, tap Yes. Next you'll need to give the app permission to use your camera so that you can scan the QR code. Using your device, scan the QR code on your TV. The app and TV are now connected. The app will guide you through setup. Review the legal terms. Select the room in your home where you'll use your device and give your device a unique name. To connect to Wi-Fi, Select your network, then tap Next. Make sure that your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that will be used to set up your Google TV streamer. You can also connect your device directly to a router or modem using an Ethernet cable. Tap Continue to sign in to your Google account. Follow the prompts to review the Google services and set up Google Assistant. Now, select the apps that you'd like to use with Google TV. These will be used to personalize your Google TV experience. Review your selections and then tap Next. To select what to show when your display isn't being used, choose an ambient screensaver. You can show a Google Photos slideshow or curated images and artwork. To get email notifications about Google's hardware products, services and offers, tap Sign Up or tap No Thanks. A setup on the app is now complete. Now, you'll use your remote to continue setup on your TV. First, set up your remote to control TV volume and power. On your TV, Select Setup Remote. Choose what device you'll use to play sound and the brand of your TV. Now you'll hear music. Select Next, then listen for the sound. If you don't hear it, make sure that the volume is turned up. To check if the volume buttons work, point the remote at the TV and toggle the volume up and down. If the volume buttons work, select Yes. Now you'll set up the power button. First, press the power button once. The TV should turn off. Wait at least eight seconds, then press the power button again. The TV should turn on. If the power button works, select yes. Your Google TV streamer's remote is now set up. Let's set up some additional settings and features on your Google TV streamer and voice remote. To create a custom shortcut on your remote, Press the customizable button, the one with the star. Select whether you would like your custom button to open the Google Home panel, 
a favorite app, or device inputs. To change the custom shortcut, press the customizable button for one to two seconds or navigate to settings. To use the home panel, in the top right of the Google TV home screen, Select the settings icon to bring up the quick settings dashboard. Select the home panel tile. You will be prompted to opt in to controlling home devices from your TV. Once opted in, the home panel will now show your spaces and favorites. To find a lost remote, press the button at the back left of the Google TV streamer device. Your remote will play a sound to help you locate it. Press any button on the remote to stop the sound. You can also use the Google Home app to find your remote. If there's a Google Assistant enabled device in your home, you can also say, Hey Google, where's my remote? to make your remote play a sound. That's it. Your Google TV streamer is ready to use.